Today we are taking this aeroponic system that we have using basil and parsley in for the last three months. We are taking this system apart and then we are putting it out in a shipping container. So I'm going to show you the plants, what we're going to do in the shipping container and how we're going to make like a mecca of different testing grounds for salads, herbs and uh, salad heads as well. So cutted salads and cutted herbs and also the herbs that we are growing with the aeroponics here for the restaurants. We are going to take this system apart and then we're going to put it out to the container. So I'm going to give you a little tour around what's going to happen because this system here has been in process for three months. We've been learning how to operate it and now we maxed out the room so much that we need the space for another pallet system and grow microgreens on it. So that's why we invested in a shipping container that we can move everything out to and hopefully create a closed environment where everything can be grown in there. So I'm going to show you the other systems we're going to put in. This system essentially is a smaller system of the aeroponic system you just saw. In here we have some tests of some lemon basil it's like a really fast growing basil species. We grew this in five weeks from seed until this size now. This uh, lemon basil, it's like a normal basil, but it has like this lemon kind of flavor and it's really unique. It smells almost like a mojito. It's uh, really, really lovely. And But the, the less good thing about it is that it doesn't keep good on fridge. So you can't store it that good. It has to be fresh when you deliver it. Otherwise, it's going to be black and that's not going to be very nice. This is the Danish trolley that we also produced and make here in Denmark. We fitted it with LED lights and we figured what LED lights is the most efficient to use in a system like this and we are using the Paris Europe LED as you know from other videos. Right now we are doing all the propagation of the uh, herb system over there with the aeroponics. We're doing it under here and we have some new tests. We're testing some different salad types to make salad heads from and we're doing some sorrel we're doing some kale and then we're gonna do some pak choy as well. So these salads is gonna be fitted in the test system as well. So this system works how with the tank underneath and we can operate it so it distributes the water equally all the time and makes a flood and drain system possible within a small system like this. So I'm going to take you to the container now and I'm going to show you what's going to happen out there. Here we have three containers standing. Two of the containers is growing oyster mushrooms and uh, the last container here we're going to fit with the different systems. We have a lot of the, the soil and the, the wheat and the coffee from our mushroom production that goes here and a uh, local Gardner, he is picking everything up and putting it on his field, so he's going to use it to improve the soil. Yeah, so basically we're fitting these old shipping containers that has been used for storage with cold products because they are already insulated and they are ready to use. They are approved for food production and they are really good at maintaining a good environment because they are insulated and works really well with what we're using it for. So this system we just developed, it's uh, basically an NFT system where you have drippers dripping water down the hatch here and then the water goes into a sewer system and distributes it back to the tank. In the tank we fitted a pump and this pump is one it's going to pump the water back up and make sure that all the plants get the right nutrient solution so we're going to do the propagation in the other small trolley system that I just show you and then we're going to fit salads here we fitted the trays the shelves 
with different size holes and with different uh, length between every hole so we can measure what goes well and then when we figure out what works and what doesn't work then we're gonna change these to fit the right type of salad because we want to in the end grow salad heads in the system. We want to grow the salad heads so that they reach a point where they fill the trays out equally so the whole setup here will fit salads without them molding and we're gonna figure what environment we're gonna operate this in. Here we put intake holes so we're sucking the air in from down here and in the other end of the container we put holes in the top so it me means that we can take the air and distribute it from the bottom to the top so it gives an equal distribution of the airflow in the container. The idea is that the big aeroponic system is going to be located here with a water tank either in this end or in this end, I think it's going to be this end and then the trolley system is going to be here, the other trolley system will be here and then we're going to put the last test system for the next food aeroponic system here. So basically this is going to be like a mecca of testing grounds for herbs, salads basically and we are going to figure how we can grow really good yields with producing in a shipping container like this so in the end we can max this out and we can create like a plug and play solution for increasing the, the productivity of a shipping container and maximizing the efficiency in it. And this whole journey, like the oyster journey, we're gonna take you on with videos of all the steps so you can learn with us and you can see everything that we're doing and hopefully it's gonna provide you with some knowledge about how you also can start up a profitable business growing salads and herbs. So yeah, this is Rone, meet Rone. Rone, he is our delivery guy. He is an awesome person and we love him. He is really good with the customers and he wants to say thank you for watching the videos and remember to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> cool, yeah, so see you next time.